Okay, I'm sorry I'm kind of doing a base rush over of the, um, you know, the little war here. Um, but, oh well. So, anyways, I explained in the last part why this and then this. Windows 1.0 did not have overlapping windows because it couldn't. This was a technology exclusive to the Mac. Not that many people weren't cloning it, but they were doing so illegally, which is why all those companies got taken out of business. Microsoft, on the other hand, as a result directly of Apple being threatened by something that wouldn't have become the predominant OS, just would have taken the people like me who thought a little differently than the, than the uh, Mac way. Um, gave the keys to the Golden Kingdom to Microsoft because they licensed the Mac technology. At this point, it's two years later, it's legal for Word and the predecessor to Excel, to soon to become Excel, to be on other platforms. So Microsoft unveils Windows 2.0, this, you know, the next year 2.1, with overlapping windows and announce the saw stuff. Apple freaks. They go, two is not an accessor of one. <laughs> well, I got news for you. The next progressive development of an operating system after one is two. <laughs> Judge agreed. Everyone agreed. I didn't steal it. Apple gave it to them. At this point was when I was pretty much in love with Windows. That's not. Now let's go forward to 3.0 and System 6. Nothing's changed. Mac spent the 80s not really changing. There were incremental improvements, but the UI stayed the same. Early 90s, Windows has made significant improvements, tweaks, and modifications. It's got a lot of features. It has polished things up and taken advantage of the way technology is improving. I don't have a picture of it, but the taskbar in Windows 3.0 was basically the Windows 95 taskbar without the start button. It was clearly defined to be separate than the task menu. This was the technology was developing. 3.0 is when I this, this is 3.1 picture, but version three of Windows was when I chucked the Mac and went to a PC. Uh, by the way, that's the other thing that pisses me off about Apple because the term PC means personal computer. And it pisses me off to no avail that Apple has brainwashed the planet into thinking that PC means Windows. Every goddamn time I call tech support, they ask, are you on a Mac or a PC? And I say, I'm on a PC that runs Linux. And instantly they realize the statement, that, how stupid the statement they just said was. Anyways, moving on. But it's like they still had the menu bar where I feel it belongs. They still had that. By Windows 95, the game was over. Microsoft had implemented a thing called the Start Menu now. I could swear there was a version of the Start Menu in a very late re as an add-on for a very late release of 3, but I can't find any evidence of it, so maybe my memory is playing tricks on me. I don't know. I could swear in a very late release of Windows 3, I had a start menu, but I, I don't, I guess I'm remembering wrong. But the start menu then came and all of a sudden, you know, my programs were here instead of in a programs window like they are on the Mac, which is another thing about the Mac UI that has always bugged me. And here we are, years later, still, you know, still the way it works. Like, I can't, launch my programs from this menu. 
I have to go in here. Go to my applications window. This just, I haven't had to do this since Windows 3. <laughs> and any other operating system but a Mac. Mac never got away from this and I don't like it. The reason, at the, around the same time as 95 came out, Macintosh unleashed System 7. Oh, and look, System 7 has this, uh, taskbar like thing, you know, which would later, uh, I want to say OS 8 and Steve Jobs returning and everything else evolved into the modern dock. But it's like, Microsoft had this first. So, why does nobody accuse Apple of stealing this from Microsoft? Because, you know, it, it came out first. I don't think Apple stole this from Microsoft. I think it was independently developed for a logical UI improvement. Now, we got to go to the Mac to look at the other reasons I hate Apple. Uh, particularly the Mac. Here I am. I have Safari open here. I have this little triangle in the taskbar to tell me Safari's open. Yes, I know this is not Leopard or Snow Leopard, but this is stuff is still true in Leopard or Snow Leopard. This is just indicative to how the Mac works. I click the red stop button. Oh no, Safari's still running! Okay, let me go to another web page. Okay, I'm on Google. I click the red X. Oh no, Safari's still running! Still have a little triangle down here. Is Google gonna come back? No! If it's still running, when I click it, it should bring back up what I had. I hate the fact that on a Mac, I have to go through one. Action one, up Oh, and then it reserves back to Finder if I accidentally click on anything else by moving up there. I'm on the application. I have to go through action one, go up to the menu, go away from my window, go up to the menu. Action two, click on the menu. Action three, quit. Now, finally, the application is dead. Three clicks to do what takes me one click on every other operating system. This is indicative of the Mac experience. I hate it. One of the features that would be quintessential for me to even want to use the Apple OS as my primary OS would be Apple acknowledging that users want to choose how their computer is configured. In Linux, I have the option of what kind of menu bar I want to use. I can have no menu bar, which means applications just do what they do. I can have a desktop menu bar, which means I'll have the default Apple bar that's at the top. It's like a system menu bar. And I have a current application menu bar, which will switch depending which application I have open at the top of the screen. Which I use on Linux is my choice. I think this is a feature a Mac desperately needs. It's these little things are why I hate a Mac. Everything about it drives me nuts. And Apple has no interest whatsoever. The Apple mentality, and I use the right click menu a lot too, which is, that's changing in a Mac. Long over fucking due. But for years, that was strongly discouraged. Like they finally have the magic mouse and stuff, but it's, it's all those little things. I don't, and all these little things about the UI and the fact that they cheap out a little bit and they're not the Rolls Royce product. They want to be the Rolls Royce, be the Rolls Royce. And allow me to set the UI like I want. Allow me to change the default behavior of the X thing. Allow me to make it the quit command. Uh, allow me to make those tweaks. They don't have to be default, they just have to be an option. I'm out of time, peace out all, but that's why I hate Apple and the Mac.